Good day. We are here to present our project entitled Hex Password Based Door Lock Security System Using Proteus and Verilog. In our everyday life, security is one of the main concerns. Each individual needs to feel safe and secure. Security and safety must start from home. The full access control on door lock is an essential part of an individual security. Most of the people still use conventional type of door locks. Due to the increasing number of robbery and trespassing, these locks are not safe as anyone can easily break in just by breaking these locks. Password-based door lock is a system where it only allows the admin or the owner to access it in full control. This system uses a three-digit hexadecimal number to be difficult to guess. This system also features an alarm for the minimum attempt of input password. Objectives of the study. General objective. The main objective of this study is to design a password-based door lock security system using Proteus and Verilog code. Specific objectives. A. This study aims to design a door lock system using Proteus 8. B. This study aims to design a test bench for the behavioral Verilog module. C. This study aims to, to, to synthesize and simulate the code using Silence ISE. System block diagram. The figure shows the system diagram of the password based door lock system. The password reset input will convert through the N7C922. The converted will be then compared using a 7485 comparator. If the input password is correct, it will grant the access. But if the input is wrong, the access will be then be denied and the counter will add one. The counter has only three attempts. If continuous wrong input is detected, the alarm will turn. IPO chart. Input. Software knowledge in Proteus 8. Software knowledge on Silix ISE. Knowledge on hexadecimal conversion and, I and other components. Process. Planning. Data gathering. Research of the study. Data analysis. Implementation. Trial and error for the code simulation. Testing. Improvement. Output. Password-based Darlock security system. Input. For the study to be possible, the researchers must have software knowledge on Proteus 8, as the simulation will made her same with the software knowledge in Silence ISE for the barrel of coding. The researchers must all have the knowledge on hexadecimal conversion and the other components needed for the study. This knowledge will serve as the main component of the proposed study to function well. Process. For the development and procedure of the study, the researcher must plan the desired study well and share ideas with each other for the data gathering. The research of the study will conduct next and the data collected will be analyzed. Then, the implementation of the design will take place along with the trial and error for the code simulation. Testing in design and the code is conducted to check if everything is functioning well. The last would be the improvement of the design for better outcome and for the study to become effective and feasible. Output. For the last step of the study, this is the completion of the input and process. The password-based data security system has been completely done and implemented. Flowchart. The figure shows the system flowchart of the project. First, the password is preset by the admin. Then, password input is taken from the outside. Both passwords are then compared. If they match, the access is granted. If they do not match, access is denied. And the count is increased by 1. A password match set the count equals to 0. And if the count is less than 3, the process is repeat from password input. If count is equals to 3, the alarm is set on and access denied state, state is hold. Any input password, even if correct password, the alarm stays on and still the access is not granted. If the reset was pre pressed by the admin, the alarm will turn off and set the count equals to zero. Then repeat the process from password input. Very log code. The figure shows the main module for the project. The inputs are reset, set pass, 
pass in and enter. While the outputs are the access, count, and alarm. The reset and set pass are set by the admin, and the pass in is the input password. The two passwords need to be compared whether it is access denied or access granted. The researcher assign check to compare the inputs. The count is for the wrong attempts input. If in the case of a new wrong password input, while the count of the previous cycle is to the access is denied, the count will be equals to 3 and the alarm will turn on. Else if the count is 3 and reset is equal to 0, it means the alarm will keep buzzing and it will not take any input until the reset is pressed for the count not equals to 2 or 3. And if check is equals to 0, then the password access is equals to 0 and the count is increased. For the last block, if the passwords are matched, then the access is granted. The count will not increase and the alarm is off. The film shows the very long timing diagram of the project. This is the case scenario for the possible inputs of password. For the first input, the researchers set 875 as set pass and pass in. Since the password are matched, the access is granted and both count and alarm is low. The pass in 951 is then set as second input and it can be seen that the count is increased by 1, but the alarm is still low. The third and fourth pass in are 999 and 123 and it triggers the alarm as the count is equal to 3. Even though the pass in is correct, the alarm is still high. The alarm will stop if the reset key is pressed by the admin and the count will be default. If another input password is wrong, then the count will increase again by 1. The access will be granted again if the passwords are matched. The other specification of the project will be discussed further in the video. Thank you.